What is up, everyone? Another Farm Sim 19 stream. Uh, we're back on Midwest. I did up some cattle pens. They were from the the Hoff pack. Uh, he had like a feedlot style, so I changed up the fencing. I uh, used some fence from uh, CWJ's um, Dyersville, and then I, th I think the bunks were randoms off his uh, mono slope. So. Um, I did have him working. I've done something where I something's messed up on him, so I can't quite fill him just yet. I'm not sure what I did. I was trying to hide some of the liquid manure and stuff because I don't want the, p the pens to produce that necessarily. So we'll see anyway. Uh, I just took too much time this morning filling around with it, and I wanted to stream. So we won't be able to quite fill him yet. But uh, how we got? We got... Zachary, how you doing? Andrew, Katie, how you doing? Jake, Josh, hey Fabio, how you guys doing today? See, I was nice and turned on the bot ahead of time, but. <clears throat> so anyway, I'll show you guys the cattle pens here. Let's just get some music first. Be good. It's snowing today, so I'm not working today. And tomorrow's my birthday, so I'm probably going to do a birthday stream tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to work tomorrow either. So be fun all right so like I said I put some fence this is kind of the fence style that we have on our pens in real life got just a bunch of slabs these are a little too perfect ours don't look this way ours is a little more rough and then of course the bunks from random so the manure will pile up in the middle here so you'll have to come in with a tractor and a manure spreader and you'll have to uh, clean out the pens so that's how it's set up right now. I got four of them here. Like I said, they don't quite fill yet. So I have to go see what I did there. So we will give you a little show of what I've got for the... Hold on. Music is loud today. So this is over on the, the Red Farm. Versatile and Case Farm. So I got four pens. I think each pen holds 100 or maybe 50, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I put some lights, I'll probably change the yard lights up for the pens and stuff. Hey Kyle, how you doing, man? Well, what are you doing? What are you doing that long of a ride for, Zachary? Hey Rockstar, how you doing, man? Uh, I put a bunk in here, I'm gonna change this bunk. I found different bunks, so I'll put a different silage pit in here. Uh, this is also from the Hoff Pack, pretty cool storage system he's got here. I figured it'd be nice and slick and easy. <clears throat> I'm in the process of piecing one together. I'm gonna have a little feed mill here as well, so I can just pull over with, uh, what do you call it, with your feed wagon and then I can dump corn and stuff in it, so. And uh, then I built a ramp here as well, because this, in case we want to haul stuff. So anyway, this farm has invested in a 24-row uh, planter. We're going to plant lots of corn. Oh, you got your shirt, did you? You have to send me a picture. See what it looks like. And then uh, we got Rock and some LSWs. i actually seen a uh, Fent Thousand series with LSWs. I think it was in Mike Less's video of running a corn planter. So, I mean, when you're planting, it doesn't matter what you got for tires, right? So... <clears throat> what are you trying out for? Hey Tyler, how you doing man? So that is the feedlot so far uh, We are I've kind of taken over this field <laughs> So there's not a whole lot here, but we are going to get this planter filled and this farm is going to do it a little differently so We need to get over to the custom truck. He's gonna haul some pallets for us um, Lax. I'm not sure what tryout that is, but <clears throat> Hey Brady, how you doing Matt? Yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. You seen Techstar put it out uh, was that yesterday, so Hopefully you guys are enjoying the map. You can Play every square inch of it that I'm playing on, so. Ah, lacrosse, gotcha. Right on, man. I used to do some lacrosse myself. 
I was player the first year, and then I went to goalie, because I was goalie in hockey my entire life, so. <clears throat> so we are going to go, we're going to pick up uh, seed and fertilizer in bags, and then I'm going to load that planter. We're going to do a different kind of style. I think in the forklift will reach. Maybe, Trevor, maybe, but I think the only other person that entered was Andrew. There's only three of us in it, but... Yeah, Brady, I don't think he was going for that. I think he was just... You know, some people are into the smaller stuff. I think he was just kind of going with... <clears throat> most of the buildings on this map were CBJs, so... I don't think he was changing that up too much. <clears throat> and probably, <clears throat> excuse me, probably for this area, this is kind of what you would see. I have no idea, so. That's why we got placeables, right? You can do as you please. Well, you should get on it, Josh. Get on playing it, man. You've played goalie since you're seven. Nice. Yeah, I was a hockey goalie. I still have all my equipment. I was big into the Sherwood pads. Like I got some Sherwood. That's when Sherwood was really popular. I don't. I don't really hear of Sherwood having much anymore. But I have no idea, Brady. Uh, I'm not from the states, so I'm assuming from the Midwest, but I, I don't know. I don't really know much about the states. Uh, if it was Canada, I could probably tell ya. So, we need to get some pallets on this guy. Now, I'm not sure if I can do bags from... Okay, they're not in there. Oh, they're probably in here. This is kind of what I'm thinking here. Fertilizer and seeds. But. Lifted by a lizard. Okay, so I probably have to have a telehandler, I'm assuming. Uh, let's go here. I've used it before a little bit, but not a whole lot. So these are the things here. Lizard tool or this lizard tool. This doesn't look too bad. I wonder what this would connect to. Let's just look in our... I'm pretty sure it's for a telehandler, but... Lizard bag mount. Kind of looks like we might need that. We might need a telehandler. I was hoping I could use a... A forklift, but if we can, that is all right as well. No bag lifter in here. All right, so we're gonna have to use that other thing. I think you have a lot of warrior gear. Nice. Yeah, I know warrior's pretty popular, but I back when I was goalie, warrior was, had just come out, so it wasn't uh, wasn't that popular. I guess we'll try this for the bags. Um, yeah, it's nice, Trevor. He has, like, all kinds of assortment of fields, right? So, that block attaches, though, the blue thing to pick up liquid tanks. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's... I'm going to get a different telehandler, uh, Trevor, because this is going to be for the red farm, not the John Deere farm. So, so we got to get a massy telehandler for this job. I'm just experimenting here. I don't really know what I'm doing with all this stuff, so bear with me, guys. But We do need to haul a lot of bales. To, uh, we need to get that farm stocked with bales too, or to buy cattle. So I got some trailers here. We're gonna haul some straw and 
Did you get stuck, Eric? <laughs> Uh, we're gonna see how this works. <sighs> Good thing you got something to watch. Well, I mean, it's not much to watch, but. Oh, you know what? I bet you that bag lifter lifts these bags. How much do you wanna bet? I don't know if it's gonna lift these guys. And I kinda want these guys. Eh, it might lift these, to be honest. How much is in this? 2,000? Try it. <laughs> I really should mess with this stuff before I do it on stream. I kind of thinking this does not go with this, but it might. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Did you see that, how it stretched too? The bag actually stretches. Oh my god, that's be that's beautiful. I <laughs> love it. All right, we're buying more of that. One, three, four, five. S I think six will be good for now, to be honest. Oh my god, this thing is sweet. Oh man, those bags really like swinging though. <laughs> what were you doing? Were you seen too close to a slough or what? And you should know that the deers can't make it through mud. No, I'm just kidding. She was bugging you. Oh man, yeah, you can load. You guys are right. You can load a ton of bags on here. Wow, this is perfect. I just wish these bags spawned together wider. <laughs> Thanks, Brady. Well, there'll be more. I've got, uh, I'm working on more farm vlogs. You're potentially going to see a lot more farm vlogs than, uh, is going to be challenging in streams but in the in the future so that's kind of why I'm working on more farm blogs but right now if I can stream I rather stream and save the farm blogs for when I'm busy seeding right so Oh, that's tricky though, Eric. That gets me every time. I was with the disc the other day and I was like, I don't see any standing water. No, still too wet. That's the, it gets you every time. Or sometimes you don't see any standing water until you're right there and it's too late. You're like, damn it. The corn harvest, nice, Tyler, nice. It shrinks when you fill something up. Damn, these bags are... issue is this one. There we go. I didn't get it off there. It's not bad, actually. Oh! Yeah! Look at that. We're strapping them down. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. We'll get about six fertilizer bags, too, I think. Never used these before, and I don't need a huge supply for that corn planter, so, I mean, we will eventually, but I want to try something different than using, uh, you know, seed handler or whatever. It's nice to, nice to try different stuff. And I've had all this stuff downloaded forever, I just never use it. And I mean, a lot of this stuff's really decent. Some of this stuff is made from some really good European modders, right, so... Oh my god, I'm getting texts from the government. Are you gonna... Can we get your support in the next federal election? How the hell did they get me my... How'd they get my number?
Jeez, yeah, you really gotta... They're a little finicky to get out, but it actually works pretty good. So yeah, no, there'll be definitely more farm vlog, guys. Don't, uh, don't worry about that. Well... Can I fit enough on and the telehandler on? Not overly. Uh, if we use the ramp, yeah, if we use the ramp over there, we'll be fine. We'll do that. So we need fertilizer. Should be six. So what's everybody doing uh, on the weekend? What sh what are your guys' plans? Like I said, tomorrow is my birthday, so hopefully I can do a birthday stream for you guys. I do have breakfast to go to in the morning. I think my auntie's having a breakfast or something, so my whole family's going to that. And then uh, going out for supper, with the fam, for my birthday. So that's kind of what my plans are. But hopefully I can get a stream for you guys in the afternoon tomorrow. I was going to stream tonight, but I got a date, so. And it's seeding season, so I'm probably not going to get time to go for supper with her until after seeding, so I'm going to go tonight, so. In my 30s, that grant. So I got a date tonight. Maybe stream later when I'm, well, we'll see how late it goes. The roads aren't that bad right now, so as far as I know, the plan is is to go for supper, but... My hand don't count. Well, I wouldn't have to go anywhere if it was my hand. Yeah, this... This girl's nice, because she's actually older than me. Doesn't have any kids, though, which is a plus. She loves to cook. That's... That's what us farm boys need. So, we'll see. Lefty or righty? Maybe both at the same time? No. <laughs> oh, what are these bags doing? Come on. Straighten out here. Jeez, there we go. bag there we go a little uh, challenging to get out of there for sure no I'll let you I'll let you guys know how it goes so what number dates first one I've been chatting with her for weeks but haven't officially met yet so tonight is, I told her whenever I had a, a night off from the farm, so that would be tonight. We'll see, it's snowing, a lot of people are saying the road's really crappy, so might not go anywhere, but I think she's pretty adamant to go on this date, so I think she'll drive through the weather, whereas I might not, but she's like, oh, my, my vehicle can handle it, and I was like, I don't know, and here I got a big truck. <laughs> All right, let's get this haul back to the farm. We'll get the planner. finicky but they work thank you Zachara probably don't need any luck but I appreciate it we seem to have a lot in common we both know what each other look like I mean we kind of know each other's personalities from talking I mean you still don't know everything until you meet person right but uh, we 
at my age, when you have a conversation with somebody, you talk about, like, kids and stuff, like, right off the bat. Because that's kind of the point where we're at in our life, right? So. <laughs> uh, Trevor. I'm a pretty... See, I don't... I'm a pretty nice guy. I don't necessarily think I'd do that on the first date, but... Somebody's willing to do that on the first date. That uh, generally means they're willing to do that with anybody, anytime, if you're not around. So I just, yeah. It's not a good thing, but... What do you mean, what is this crap? The same stuff I've always been doing. It's the good stuff. There's a bar in there. I know that, man. I, I'm trying to avoid it. I put a ramp over here. And it maybe wasn't the best spot, but... I'll, ha I'll have to come back for another attachment later. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Alright, this is bad, bad music. That was a little rough. We maybe need a lower ramp there. That's how we do it, though. There's a barn there. I appreciate it straight. I mean, you're looking out for me, right? So. <clears throat> I don't know what I'd do without you. The one bag doesn't really seem strapped down, but. <clears throat> Carbonized bread? That doesn't sound good at all. What do you guys eat over there straight? Good lord. I think we're gonna have to uh, <clears throat> sim the time a little bit. It's getting a little dark. Uh, this is 7L Farms truck that somebody added a sleep or two and stretched a little bit and gave it a paint scheme, but it's a permanent paint scheme. It's the only thing I don't like about it. They took the paintable options away and then made this skin. You'd have to go back and <clears throat> separate a bunch of... I never looked at it, actually, but... Don't remember where it was. Was it Old School Farm or Expendable? Somewhere. I can't remember where it was released in, but one of the, one of the groups somewhere it was. Yeah, I put it out there. I mean, normally when somebody adds a sleeper to a truck that I've seen in the past, they just slap it on. So, like, he actually did a proper and blender, whatever he used. But so it's actually a proper job on the truck. The only, like I said, the only issue is the, the same paint scheme. But, which is good, because I'm sure 7L, I mean, maybe not. I don't know, probably old school, yeah, it could be. Hopefully we can get our pens. I still gotta add more trees around here, and I was kind of adding some fence. Got a white fence pack, so I was adding some fence around, and, and maybe need more lights over in the feed lot here. But <clears throat> we'll be good once we get it working, anyway. Okay, only issue I see is the planters right in my way of the ramp. That ramp's probably a little bit higher than this trailer, too. It's all right, we'll move this guy. <clears throat> Where are the bags from, Rockstar? Honestly, I would check the Giants mod hub. 
I believe they're on there. I downloaded them so long ago. Uh, they are... They're they're in the Hoff pack. If you guys seen the Hoff pack that was released. Uh, he has a feedlot. I've just... I've added different fencing. <clears throat> and I've added different bunks to them. They're all placeable, right? So I placed, I placed four placeables here. <clears throat> and then I, you know... Painted the ground. I put some placeable lights in. I'm gonna get some lower ones. I don't like how high those are, but... And, uh, yeah, and then I made the manure pop up in the middle of the pen here, so you have to physically come in the pen and, uh, clean out the heap. You can't push it up into a heap, like, in 17, but you can at least go in the pen and... We're gonna move this guy out of the way. What side do they open? Okay, they open that way. Gotcha. I'm not quite done the feedlot yet. I still want to add trees and a little more details. Anything I can, like by placeables, but. Yeah, the Thousand Series is nice for sure. And I also, I want to add some pallet racking. Oh, I guess. I have never had any lights in this shit. I want to add some pallet racking in here. So. I don't remember where my pallet racking was. So you can add pallet racking in here. This is kind of this is where I want to store some of my bags. So. Just want to make sure that lines up nice with the wall. I wish it wouldn't have made the ground dark there. Now I can't really see what I'm doing here. Now we got a little bit of pallet shelving there anyway. That'll be good for now. Farm building simulator, you betcha. That's what I like doing. I like adding some stuff and kind of building my own. If I can. Hey, Enrique, you doing, man? As long as I can make it look good, but... I do a lot of deleting of stuff because I'm not always happy with the way it looks, but... Oh, I, I'm glad they did, Trevor. You know what? This ramp is going to be way too high. Let's see if the telehandler can climb up it. I really thought this ramp would be uh, lower than that. Come on, telehandler, you can do it. Nope. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, that ramp, I'm going to have to replace it and lower it, I guess. I don't know if I can lower it, though. Not to redo the terrain around there. It took me a while to get that terrain good, too. Oh, well. At least we know, because most of the trailers are this low, aren't they, I would think? Doing good, Matt. Oh, good thing we can just drive off the end. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but... Alright, you know what, guys? We're gonna sim through the night here really quickly, so... So we can actually see what we're doing. Hey, Ethan, how you doing, man? So yeah, this is also in the Hoff pack. You, it's pretty cool, actually. You can fold this away, and then it brings out your unloading auger. So you can load trucks. And you can store silage, chaff in here. You can store pig food. I mean, can't really store grain in here, but it's perfect for what I need it for. I'll just use live bottom trailers. I mean, it's a little bit weird putting silage and chaff through this thing since it's a grain auger, but... It'll work for what we need, so. Exactly, Chris. You do what you want. But I'm going to change out this bunk, because I don't, I don't like that bunk. 
But we'll get our we'll get our time fast forward here, and then uh, I'm still looking for a decent manure spreader because I'll. There, if you look in the mods, there's like no dry manure spreaders out there. Like Giants Mod Hub, nothing. There's small, tiny European ones, but I'm looking for some bigger ones, and I don't want the big, um, big bud pack, you know, the big manure spreader here. I don't want to use that one. That one's way too big. I do not want to use this brochard or whatever it's called. This thing's massive. That's a little too much for my liking. It's cool, but I, would, I wouldn't mind using a smaller version of this. You know, three axles and half the length, but... So I'm stuck with using this, and I even looked at hook lift trucks that have this box on it, but they're too small. The person made the hook lift made it for trailers, not really trucks, so... The in-game Cunha... I'm not a huge fan of side slingers, but... I might, this, I might have to use a couple of these for now, I guess. Hey Spencer, you doing, man? Uh, the feedlots are from the Hoff pack. I've just edited them. So basically, if you go to the modding welt pack, I, I am pretty sure it's on modhub.us, and I am not. It's I'm sure it's some other places. Is it Andre? Is that how I say it? How you doing, man? So like, if I go into animals here. It's the modding welt pack here. So this is what it looks like. This is his. I've taken the fence and changed it. So I just I just placed four of them over there. So I can place another one here and Damn that feed lot looks good, don't it? Looking sexy. So yeah, I'm still on the lookout for a good manure spreader. Uh, we should probably haul some bales and fill this shed up too. Oh, is it in a pack with Wind Chaser, is it? That's pretty cool. I haven't looked on there in a while, but it's a, it's a decent pack. I mean, he's got a lot of stuff in there. I definitely liked his feedlot. I just changed it up to my liking, so. Added some different bunks and some more, like, f style of fence that you would see around my area. Like, we usually use kind of slabs, kind of a little bit more of a windbreaker for cattle. And yeah, I just took some time to place them down and place some grass, and, you know. Kind of did my own thing, but let's get the time fast forward here. Uh, the fences are from Dyersville, so. I believe CWJ modeled them and put them in his map, and so I just plucked them out of there and used them because I really liked his, his texture and stuff on them and what he did, so. That's the type of style of fence I was looking for because I asked him to build it for me and he's like, I've already done that. So then I just went on his map and used that, so. Oh, I see straight. I, I honestly have not checked uh, the update on Wind Chaser in a while, so. Whereabouts in the map do I have my farm set up? I can definitely show you there. Uh... I can definitely show you dirty. So, uh, let's see here. That's not what we want. We want the map. Hold on. I'm just going to see what the time is. 5.11. We'll just wait till we get to the light here. I'll slow it down and then I can show you where the farm is. So. It is Trevor. A lot of people. Alright. Tell you where. Six, come on. I think Midwest is really good. I mean, you know, it's fairly flat. I mean, some people might complain about that, but it probably is like that in real life. Any, like this, it, this map still has terrain differences. Like I go to play stuff, and I still have to form terrain. Like that's why this hits all messed up because it's not flat along the side here. Like there is subtle differences, so. I think it's pretty nice actually, but I've played I've played on it for a long time, so 
Hopefully you guys agree with me. Nice. Glad you're playing it straight. It's, it's quite an enjoyable map, I find. All right, so I'll show you where I'm on the map here, Dirty. I am around the little farm around field 10 here. So you got town, you come down the road here, and there's a little uh, entrance way here, and you come up to field 10. So basically, I'll show you what I've done. Um, when you first come into this map, all there is here is this shed, this house, and some trees. That's it. There's just this little area. I expanded on it in the field. Uh, I made a green area and uh, put a shed and stuff up and then I decided that I wanted these guys to run the feedlots then I built the feedlot out to the field here so that's kind of where I have this farm set up at the moment so oh, we're definitely taking some field space up but I, I I'm really liking my setup right now so I did put down a dairy barn for the John Deere, but I think I'm gonna change it. I'm not satisfied with the way it looks over there yet, so. Um. We are going to fill some seed and fertilizer, so. Oh yeah, there's plenty of fields, so not like we're gonna run out of fields, that's for sure. I think this is this this one takes fertilizer too, right? I'm pretty sure it does. I'm not sure where it takes fertilizer, but I was pretty sure it takes it somewhere. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it quit swinging around, damn it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I gotta be in that one right there, okay. Doing stuff old school, guys. Old school. How much does that one take? It must take quite a bit. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going to take quite a bit of fertilizer. We're going to need to get more. When did you make a meme? Like this morning? I haven't checked uh, Messenger lately, but all my messages are on... Uh, mute, so I don't ever notice unless I actually look at them. Because they always pop up on my stream, on my computer. I guess I need to go turn notifications off for that, but yeah, that stuff always pops up in the middle of my stream, so I just mute everything. I do use a horseback, real good kid. I just downloaded it the other day. I mean, I really like the 24 row planter. One of our neighbors is actually using one to plant our corn. He just bought it this year, but it's the new style horse planter, so it's got a nicer, it's got duels on it. It just, it looks nicer than this one, but pretty cool anyway. Well, I know everyone generally has uh, conversations muted. I'm just saying that's why I probably haven't seen it, so. I'm not saying that to be rude. I think we're full. 7,000. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Now, this is why we got our pallet racking here. This is the plan. This is my plan. I don't know if it's going to work. It should. We're kind of a little high to the roof here, but... This is my whole plan is to store this in this pallet racking. But... Maybe isn't the best place to do it because we're almost in the rafters. And I'm an idiot and... Yeah, that's my that's my issue right there. I'm an idiot. We need to get this on the end of our pallet thing here. Right along the rafter. Yeah, this is really smart of me. It's maybe not a good place to do it. <laughs> but hey, nobody said we were smart, right? Stuck on the shed now here. That was my goal right there, is to put it on pallet racking. Hey Jojo, you doing, man? Uh, Trevor, I haven't really, I told her I play video games, but I said I do some streaming, but I haven't gone to, into too much detail on it, so. It's not something I really tell people like first, hey, I play, I play farm sim all the time. I told her more that I'm gonna do a lot of farm vlogging on YouTube, and she's like, that's cool. And I said, you know what? I said, some people like to give me a little bit of money. It's not something I asked for, but... I I know, Derek, that's nice. It actually shows how heavy it is. How you doing, man? Haven't seen you in a while. I don't think anybody's ever gonna top that top donation from you, man. You're still on the list there. All-time top donations. I'm a YouTuber, yeah, no, I'm not. I think most people are okay with that, as long as I don't say, hey, I play farm sim, and I play a lot of it. Like, that's all I do. I, I, I farm in real life, and I play farm sim nonstop. I don't think anybody wants to hear that. Like, if you look back at all the video games and how much I've played, I've played a lot of hours, streamed a lot of hours of this game. <laughs> so, that's not something I'm proud of. Can't really take it back, right? It's done is done. You're home for the weekend. Well, that's awesome, Derek, man. You're never, uh... You're the ever home, man. Prepare for me to disappear? Well, yeah, because seeding is coming up. There's a chance that I'm going to disappear anyway, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream when I move to the farm. And as soon as seeding's done, I'm moving. So you guys aren't going to see me for a while, and then I'm going to be moving. So uh, silver. I'm getting the same internet that Silver Ricky had and just bought like two months ago, and he said it's... He said it's not bad, but, like, I don't think I have five uploads, so I don't think I'll be able to stream, but we'll find out. I, I should still be able to play multiplayer. I should still be able to play online games, but... Yeah, Jojo, Trevor misses you, but I don't think you could block anybody in the stream. Do you guys have that option? I didn't think that was possible. I think Trevor's just blind. <laughs> Some glasses, Trevor. <laughs> Jesus. So, Trevor, did you decide on a box yet? Yeah, he was moving to uh, the city, so the other day when I talked to him. Hey, Cartman, how you doing, man? 
All right, let's get some seed in here. Yeah, a random guy with an extremely long, boring name. <laughs> I like it. How you doing, man? You like the channel name? Well, you can thank Silver Rookie for that. He was the one that <clears throat> kind of came up with it. So, back with the Facebook page. Doing good, Matt. Thanks for asking. <clears throat> I don't think this is going to take a lot of seed, though. Like, look how tiny the compartment is for the seed there. These bags have quit fooling around already and quit moving, damn it. Should have fiber? Yeah, you should. But I don't really know, like... Our small uh, town was one of the first to get fiber, like, in the ground compared to cities. The gray with green accent. Well, you tell him he's, he's watching the stream right now, so. <clears throat> I'm surprised because I didn't think he ever would. I told him he wasn't allowed to anyway. <laughs> oh, we're full already? What? How much seed? Only 2,000. Are you kidding me? Come on. Doesn't take a whole lot. Oh, all right. <clears throat> uh, I have a little bit, Derek. It's not bad. Uh, I'm going to put the rest of these bags up later. I'll just get them unloaded and we'll place them in here for now. I I use it once in a while, but I like to switch stuff up, so I'm trying to use this because I've never done the setup like this before, so I'm kind of trying to do stuff differently with the bags and trying to have you guys watch different stuff rather than the same, oh, we're just going to use the seed tender again. Like, that gets boring after a while. I mean, nothing wrong with it, but I didn't need a whole lot of seed and fertilizer for this corn planter at the moment, so that's why I'm kind of going small scale here. We're kind of going big scale planter, small scale fill up. Like, I don't need a giant seed tender at the moment. So. Just got to get this other fork through the bag here. Jesus, those really... F <laughs> We'd have... These bags would be ripped by now, swinging like that. I'd have wrecked them already. So, yeah. Well, you can do as you like, Derek. I mean, I love when you're in your man, but I know people are busy in life. I'm just just trying to keep her interesting, you know? As Jake and Socks would say, you know, I download everything, so I pretty much have everything that's out there. <laughs> Whether it's good or bad, I mean, if it's bad, I definitely delete it, but... You don't want to know how many mods I have in my single player right now. You don't. You don't even want to know. But I got a really beefy computer, so it can handle it. And most of the stuff that I'm running right now doesn't have any errors, so I made sure of that. So runs pretty smooth. I'm sure there's some stuff that I'll find out later has errors when I buy it. But see now, there we go. That's just. Little finicky, but we got her, so. This is gonna be our machines our machine shed for the feedlot side. So we'll have, you know, our manure spreaders in here. Whatever we got for the feedlot, you know, our track our pack and tractor. Mind you, I'm gonna put a blade on a versatile, so. Where'd I get that liquid tank pack you had last time? Um, I believe it's on the Farm Simulator Mod Hub. Like, if you go to Farm Simulator, go to their mods, I'm pretty sure it's on that. Pretty sure it's on there. 
Yes, 100%. Oh, we're gonna haul some bales too. <clears throat> so we'll get doing that eventually. I haven't decided if I want to payload her or unload it with a Telehander. I think I want to unload it with a, a payloader because then we can do more bales at a time. It's kind of my plan anyway. But we'll just get this guy in here for now. This guy's like I pretend this guy's kind of like the custom hauler for between farms. Just because we can't really change the color on this truck, but we'll put him in here for now. We're gonna go plant some corn. We're gonna plant corn right around the feedlot here. Kind of my my plan anyway. Ah, uh, you bet, Derek. I've got a. Uh, I've got a disking and a heavy harrowing uh, video. I haven't edited the footage yet for it, but I have all the footage I think I need and want. I do have a photo video of all the photos I've taken over the last three years. It's not a lot. It's like still like a 15 minute video though. Of just the pictures and I'm going to put them to music. I almost have that done. I just have to add one more song to it and it should be ready to go. So I'm going to hopefully get that done this weekend. So then next week when I'm busy or when I start getting busy, then I can just schedule these videos to come out and then I don't have to worry about doing much. That's kind of the plan anyway. Uh, we're going to have to plant some more grass right here because I do not, I do not, I'm not planting in that little area there. We'll do some landscaping quickly. And yeah, I'm hoping to get some seeding footage, but I don't really know um, how much um, time I'm going to have to edit in between. So I might get some seeding footage, but you might, it might, you might have to wait till after seeding before I can get stuff edited. So there we go. That's a little. That's not too bad there. Kind of need to clean this stuff up a little bit here. Make it a little more rounded edge. Something like that. I'll do a little bit more here as well. it gives us a little bit of a field edge. Not bad there. I'm sure I might change this up eventually and add more in here, but we'll just do this for now, so. Hey Pitts, how you doing, Matt? How's the field work going? And we'll come around here. Just gotta do a rough little grass trim in here. You know what, right now this sounds like shopping mall music, doesn't it? We're going shopping. Actually, maybe it's not quite shopping music, but you guys are probably like, what kind of shopping music do you listen to? You're weird, man. Kind of get this painted in here a little bit. I messed that up. There, I got somewhat all right. What do you guys think of that? Does that look good? I think that looks decent. 
For now, anyway, until I want to expand the feedlot some more. Alright. Yeah, I really wish these notifications, I tried to delete them, but... <clears throat> we'll get some corn going. Not sure what the usage rate's gonna be on it. My plan is next uh, seeding though is to plant a ton of corn because we need a lot of uh, forage and stuff for this operation. I kind of got a really big planter for a small field here, but we're gonna need it so. set up here liking it uh does it not say how tall the boxes are I can ask them Which one were you wanting though, Trevor? <clears throat> Look at all this water in this field. We're gonna be doing corn in the water. <laughs> I forget which box you were looking at, but. We'll be doing manure with this tractor too. I probably could use a couple of smaller trackers for manure as well, but. Uh, the map is done by Texar and CBJ, Chris, and it's out on uh, Texar's page. So if you go exclamation map and you check out his page, it should be on there. So in the play game button, so you can be playing this map as well. You're obviously just not going to have a farm setup that I have because I've built it myself. But Planting corn through the water like a boss. <laughs> Oh, 48 inches or whatever, gotcha. Technically, I probably shouldn't be going in the other field here. No. Crop damage. Damn it. There you go, Sawyer. So if you go to Texar's page there... You hit the play game button and his downloads will be this map. So just released it the other day. So everybody can enjoy it finally. I'm not sure what was up with Giants. Maybe they weren't allowing him to do something on there, but I think he just got tired of it, so he released it. So geez, we're using corn quickly. This thing wastes no time and uh We're gonna need way more seed. I'm gonna need a bigger setup, I think, than those bags. definitely get more corn set up for sure so what's this going nine miles an hour well I'm, maybe it can go nine miles an hour I have no idea I'm not a planting corn expert but are you Derek yeah you might you're gonna have to go PC for sure <laughs> Break down and do it, man. Break down. 
Did I ever show you guys my nice my nice tumbler that I got here? My TPF tumbler? Yeah. It's actually pretty nice. Some nice products for sure. I showed you guys, yeah, my beer, my beer koozie as well. Keeps my oh, what are we doing here? Not focusing. Keeps my beer nice and cold, that's for sure. All right, Trevor. See you in a few minutes. If I'm still around, what time is it? One o'clock. Yeah. Better stream lots now because I won't be streaming. I might stream later tonight. I don't know. Kind of want to, but. Can't really brush on. Just yeah, what do we got? Jordan, thanks for the sub, man. Greatly appreciate it. Awesome, man. Well, we gotta go around this waterway, don't we? Or this uh, barometer, I call it. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I'm pretty sure it's a barometer. Because we were in, when I was working in the oil field surveying and stuff, some uh, some like crop land and stuff right around um, some old sites would have that, and that's just so they can test the groundwater to see if there's any seepage or leakage from the well site. So I think it's called a barometer. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just so you can test the groundwater is all. How am I liking the snow? Not too well. I mean, I do get a day off, but... That's... Are you sure that's a tile inlet? I mean, I'll take your word for it, but I thought it was like, uh... Around here, I've seen stuff like that, and it's... They test the... They test the groundwater, so I guess it could be either or, but... This is a... U.S. map, so... Probably a tile inlet, but it's never seen one, so. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Looks like my sub count's going up nicely. I, I don't think that it ever went live, but I guess it does. Yeah, the groundwater looks full, doesn't it? <laughs> Planting through some pure water here. Our thousand series fan. Oh, these things are beautiful. I'm hoping we get one of these one day. Dad keeps teasing, oh, that would look good on the green cart. And I was like, yeah, and then everybody would run on one. Everybody would want to run the green cart if a thousand series fan was on it. So, all right, guys, heist is up. Make sure you get in there and win some trailer dollars. Hoping to have a giveaway soon. Maybe we'll have a giveaway for my birthday. Would that be a good idea? Or maybe, maybe I shouldn't be giving away stuff on my birthday. You got the 450 acres, nice man. We uh we put we banded some fertilizer down for our corn. It's being planted by uh, a chicken guy around us, but we uh, didn't get any planting done yet ourselves. We could have, but we figured, you know what? If it's gonna be minus five, it's not gonna do anything in the ground anyway, so we might as well just wait. And I mean, the snow is gonna come and melt, and it's gonna be gone so quickly, it's not even gonna matter. So yeah, we're not. Uh, not too worried about it. Some guys that have a lot of acres to seed, I'm sure they were they were getting at it around here, but we only have 3,000 to seed. And I banded 130 acres, so we're 130 acres less. So, you know, 20, 2,870 acres is all we have to seed now. So, The old birthday is tomorrow, Derek. The 28th of April is my birthday. So tomorrow is my birthday. Uh, it's snowing pits. <laughs> and it's funny. Because this is Alberta weather, and pretty much every year it snows on my birthday, so. The last two years it hasn't, but before that it always has, so. Yeah, it's snowing, so. <laughs> oh boy, Sawyer, you gotta get your spelling right there, man. You might not have enough points, Sawyer, so. You don't have enough points. You got to do a gap. You got to do a space between the heist and 100, though. If you don't have enough, then it won't let you. Uh, 
it won't let you enter, which I would assume you would, but... Still just gotta do the space. You're still not doing the space, man. So look how everyone else has done it. You'll get her figured. Like, seriously, we're at 40% for seeds. This is a tiny field. Oh, you got it too late, man. You're a little too late on that. Next time, remember that, though. You usually only have like a minute or two to enter. Damn, yeah, this thing, uh, this thing goes through seed quickly. Mind you, it's 24 row, but I'm glad they updated and turned this into a 24 row. It just, it, it needed to be done. We needed a tw we needed a bigger corn planter. Just need some duels on this puppy. Duels on the corn planter, we'd be laughing. I'd actually, just going at that would be hard. Hey, Kyle, you doing, Matt? We're just barely gonna have enough. We'll get her filled up anyway before we put her away. Because I think this is the only other field I have for now. So we're not going to have a whole, a lot of corn. But this should be enough to... Mind you, we can go do a hay field and do some haylage or something as well. Call that home. So, we'll have to invest in a chopper. I haven't decided if I'm going to use a crone or what I'm going to use yet for that. But we'll get something figured out. Like I said, I want to change out that silage pit because I'm not happy with it. So I might do that right now on stream and then we'll put another pit down. Another one that I found on the mod hub that I like better. I don't really need that big of a pit, honestly. I think I could do with a little bit smaller of one. Still got to get my feed mill set up done. And then we can fill our uh, mixer with some corn rations rather than having to fill with the bucket. I can just pull underneath the auger. So I'll have a feed mill set up so I can pull up with trucks, dump corn in the bin, and then on the other end of it, I can empty out the corn into a uh, feed wagon. So that way I don't have to use a bucket or a telehandler or a loader to load the feed wagon. I just pull under the auger and it will load it. So, I mean, guys do that in real life. So that's kind of my, kind of my thinking behind it. So... Now I have to sit there and, you know, put 20 scoops of feed in. Cause, I mean, I that is fun, but I don't know. That's just a little much for me. So we'll get this thing full before we put it away. So we'll back it up over towards the shed again, get it filled up. Cast doing good, Trent. Uh, we weren't able to castrate him as he got away, and now we can't get him. So I guess that'll be the next person's problem to deal with uh, castration. So. That should be good there. Turn the lines off. Now, what did it take before? It only took like a bag and a little bit, right? So. Honestly, it's probably only going to take one more bag, I would think, but. Took a lot of fertilizer, but not a lot of 
Not a lot of seeds, so. Am I gonna do a PS4 setup? Probably not, because I don't own a PS4. I own an Xbox, but I don't play this game on console. I don't play any games on console. I use it for Netflix. That's kind of what I use my console for. Netflix, or if I need a... Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I want my bag back, please. Get over towards our seed here. There we go. Keep it real, Pony Boy. <laughs> what shaders are those? Uh, from KMN. You want to do uh here? You go to Kamen's page there and scroll down somewhere in there. He released his shaders. Uh, there's a little read me file that tells you how to put them in your game. So yeah, that's what I'm using. They're public. They weren't for quite a while, but now they are. How you doing, NASCAR? What's up, man? Yeah, Kyle's right. I definitely will not do PS4 just because I don't have a PS4. So, well, I mean, I wouldn't do console anyway, but. DC is where it's at for pretty much everything. Uh, I think I'm only running on, uh, to be honest, I'm only running on medium, I think. I'm on medium, but I've got like foliage and everything turned up to the max. Because when I was playing Six Guns map, he had his grass, so it loaded like from far away. Like you could see his map, you could see his grass across the map. And if I played on high, it I was getting kicked out of the game, so he's like, put it on medium, put it on these settings, and I just never changed it, but... Pretty sure I'm only on medium settings on my computer. I could be running probably higher, but... How did I get the feedlots? Uh, I edited them. There is some out there, and I made... I changed them to my liking, so... These are my edits of the feedlots. So we need some more fertilizer. We'll probably put that bag and it was like almost empty I think so reminder is make sure we have a ton of fertilizer and not so much seed that's a good reminder oh it's a lot easier to grab those bags that's for sure I like how it like swings. Like so violent. Yep, yep, oh, yep, yep. I was really hoping we'd empty that bag. No worries, Farmer Brown. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't use a console, so I don't have a PS4 or else. Maybe I would, but... I like PC better. It's everybody's preference and everybody's, you know, what what you got to spend, right? So, I'm not saying... Con I mean, PC is way ahead of console, but... I, myself, will never play on console. But I know lots of people that do. Oh, yeah, this bag is a lot smaller, I think. You guys were saying that too, that it would do that. But yeah, I can't play on a console that I don't have, so. <laughs> but I, exactly, it's cost issue, right? Not everybody can afford a PC, not everybody knows what they need to get anyway. No, I 100%. I okay. Better stay there, bag. I 100% understand. I will not play with a console. I do have one, but it's good for Netflix and other stuff. And I mean, I do play the Odd Sea of Thieves on it, but I mainly play on my PC for that, so. So our planter is good. We can fold it up and get it stored for now. We don't need it. 
I couldn't tell you, Josh. I don't have a steering wheel, so I don't have a clue on what's good and what's not. I don't really do simulators with that, but... Hey, Edgar, how you doing, man? But I think we're going to haul some bales. That's kind of my, my goal right now. To get some bales stockpiled. get this kind of put back in this back corner because we're not going to need it for a while because everything else is pretty much planted and ready to go. Perfect. This guy isn't going to be on a manure, well, maybe not a manure spreader now, because we should probably be spreading manure before we plant, but. It's hot down there? <laughs> oh, I know Haggard's around. He's in, uh, he's in techie stream all the time, but you're a moderator, right? So that's kind of, you're definitely going to be in the streams that you're a moderator in more than not, so. I definitely know you're on YouTube watching. It's all right, man. So, yeah. What could we do with this guy? What else could we bring back? Like I said, we need bales. We need trucks. Um, could bring a manure spreader back, I suppose. Can we just use the side slingers for now, guys? Like, this is an awfully small spreader to be on a thousand series bent, but. I'd like to use these guys eventually. 32,000. No, like I said, I understand, man. If you're a moderator stream, you're going to be in that stream more, right? So. Hey, NASCAR. What you doing, man? 10 likes. Who's, you got 10 likes, NASCAR? Uh, I don't know what to pull home with this guy. We do need to go get some bale trailers, so this guy for sure. And I gotta find where I put my other truck. So yeah, we need to get some bales stocked up. I'm thinking I'm still going to use straw on the ration, but I'm not sure how I want to do that because I don't want to have to sit there and grind a bunch of uh, straw just to put in the... We'll see, I guess. I might do that, I might not. I haven't decided yet. Vanilla water? What the heck is that? But we do need to bring home a payloader. Maybe maybe I could bring a part load of bales home and bring the payloader on the back. We, we'll see what I can fit on that trailer. Should be able to, though, I would think. The bales in the front. Payloader on the back. Party in the front. Or no. Business in the front. Party in the back. Do I have an F-250 2020? I have no idea, man. I don't have a whole lot of pickup trucks. I have blue... Blue Modding's Dodges, his 1500 and his uh, one ton. Or is it a 2500? I thought it was a 3500. And then I have Machine Modding's uh, Chevy. So that's all I really have. Or no, I have a Ford too. I don't know where I got from. What? You can order a vanilla Dr. Pepper? Okay, it's got some weird stuff up there, man. <clears throat> I think the payloader can fit on that back trailer. I gotta redo these trailers too because I'm not happy with my bales. I don't want them to. So I got a lot of work to do in these trailers still to get them perfect, but we'll get there. 
All right, so how many bales can we fit on the front again? Uh, we can do 11, 11, 22, and 18, so let's see how many bales that I need. I think, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So we do nine on the front. Um, so that'd be 18 on the top deck, and then I said two stacks of 11, right? 22. 40 bales we can do on the front, so let's buy 40 straw bales. Jack it up. Or should we do hay? No, I think we'll do some straw first. So we need uh, 40, so... 8. 16. 24. 32 and 40. So that should be enough for the front trailer. Uh, on large square bales and go. I'm just gonna save quickly. Uh, you bet you match Pitbull Blade. I haven't put an attacher joint on the uh, versatile tractor yet, because that's what I'm going to be pushing silage with, so... Just haven't got around to doing that yet, so... Oh man, we got so much space in between this truck and the... Yeah. I don't think you can... I don't think you can move this fifth wheel, can you? Can you slide it? Get back on the truck here. No, can't slide the fifth wheel. That's maybe something I should add. I kind of like the slide. Well, I can't slide it much forward, or else the trailer would be hitting it, right? So. All right, come on, pick these bales up, damn it. All right, one more go around and we'll get all our bales on here. <laughs> Chit slide? Yeah, I, I just couldn't... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm not doing the right thing. I don't see any options for it to slide, so... So, we got the front loaded. We are going to put a payloader on the back. Sorry. Yeah, wrong brand. I think it's the Pete that you can do that for sure on it, but not the Kenworth. You just brought some goats home? Nice, man. What uh, made you do that? Or has that kind of been a choice for a while? Only thing is, this is going to be tricky. So I am not the greatest at backing up. Hey, at least this trailer is higher. <laughs> That's as far as I can get with all of my collisions on my ramps back there. All right. Oh, nice, man. That'd be cool. All right, so we gotta get ourselves a payloader. And I'm sorry, but I just really like the JCB. I really like it. It's gotta have the Michelins. Michelins are so damn sexy. So, we're gonna get a couple of attachments for it. 
How you doing, Mike? What you doing? Oh, this is 12,000. I like he. What's this? 25,000. Uh, yeah, oh, we're gonna do 25,000. Heck, yeah. Well, that eh, 12,000 is probably good for loading uh, silage. I don't think we need 25, to be honest. You can make a black chrome, really? Huh. 25 is a little much, so we'll go with this one, I guess. This one's still a big ass one already. 12,000 is good capacity. And where is my forks? There's my forks. Really? The blade's got wear on it already? It hasn't even been used. <laughs> Alright, let's get this off. Ah, uh, you've spent 20 grand close oh my god this bucket is massive nice we're gonna get some stuff done with this thing now only issue is I don't know if I can take both I didn't think of that huh hmm. I don't think we can take both guys we're gonna have to leave this here I don't think I can I have to come back for it. I have to load it up on the step deck and bring it here another time. I don't think I can fit both on there. Well, screw it. We're going to do it anyway. We're going to try. Nice, Trevor. How you liking it, man? Or I guess you haven't played it yet. We'll get to it, man. Get going. Highly unlikely that that's gonna stay there, but I'm hoping it does. <laughs> it has to. Because I need it. It's a hard choice, isn't it, Mike? It is really hard. Like, when I, when I choose where I'm gonna pick a farm, you have no idea, like, how much I... I was like, hmm, where do I want to put it? a big choice You're from Ohio okay Brady Watts well, I forget Texar said it but I I forget that kind of stuff so unless I'm familiar with the area I usually forget oh yeah this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge but uh maybe by putting it there I mean, this is definitely doable. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it to people, but we we got to do it. The only way. Uh, our tag axle's got to go down, though. There we go. We're pulling a lot of weight here, and I'm hoping when I turn, that stuff doesn't conflict with the bales too much. This is where we need some beacons. <laughs> Wide load coming through. How are we doing on the back there? Oh, we got tons of room. Tons of room, guys. This is a wicked setup. That's how we do it. Ah, uh, Trevor, I don't know if there's one out yet. I know KMN is working on one, but I think he's on to other stuff right now. Uh, there was another modder I seen that was doing it, but I haven't seen anything out yet, so... As far as I know, you're stuck to using the in-game one still, so. That bucket looks like it's moving a little bit. 
Oh. I wouldn't drive into stuff. We'd be just fine. I don't know how well that bu that bucket is not going to stay on there the whole time, I don't think, but... Alright. That's got to go. Thumbnail pick? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this would be a good one for sure, eh? Here, let's... Let's, let's stop and take a picture anyway, regardless. How's that looking? Oh yeah, I look sexy. I'm not talking about me. <laughs> the DOT. It's perfectly legal straight. No, maybe we're probably overweight. We have enough axles, but the bales are, you know, a thousand pounds. That tractor, well, you could have a telehandler on the back here or a small loader and you'd probably be okay. This big loader, probably not. There is guys that do this. They'll have, you know, they're moving uh, their loader to another field. Guys that have these trailers do this. They just don't have a giant payloader on the back. How would I rate the map? I would give it a 10 out of 10, so. Yeah, I mean, the uh, tractor's a little bit big, but. No DOT here, right? So. Yeah, it's the MTO over here. <laughs> Other than that, though, it's staying pretty good. Uh, without a locking script, that tractor will slide a bit forward, but I think we should be okay. As long as I don't get going too fast. What is my favorite type of truck in ATS? I gotta say, I don't know, a W900. Like an L maybe, I don't know. But I still like an F, an FLD or an FLC. Like I, I still like my Freightliners, but I haven't played much ATS, so. Total length, yeah, I mean. The length is fine. There's guys that haul these trailers all the time over here. But W900B? You want a Canadian flag? Well, I could put a Canadian flag if you want one. I got I got a placeable one. Just trying to drive a little slow here. Because I know if I hit the brakes, that tractor will go slide into the bales. But I think we're good. I need to widen this driveway, don't I? This is a small ass driveway. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily put a Canadian flag down on a map that's American. I mean, potentially for my own play reasons, I probably could, but it's kind of why I haven't done it, so. It's not a Canadian map, so. I did it on Mills, but that's because Killer and I both did it. He's like, screw it, Canadian flag on Mills. So we did it. I need to see what he, how he's doing on his map because he was bringing it over to 19, I think, so. I know I've done it before, but I haven't done it in 19. I play American maps, but I play them Canadian style, so. More than Mills? I don't think so. Remind me what else I did it. I don't remember. Mills is, Mills is the only time I actually edited it into the map. When I changed all the American flags to Canadian. I think that's the only time I ever edited it. I don't remember putting a placeable down ever though. Remind me. Nah, he's not great at answering stuff, but. I don't think he really cares that much about farm sims, so probably doesn't want to talk about it. He missed me the other day, wanting to know what Alfalfa's email was again, but he already had it, so I, I guess he was just checking to make sure he had the right one. Oh, never mind, that was county line, right? For some reason I thought it was Mills. 
You're right, it was County Line that I did that on, wasn't it? Uh, we're getting a little crooked there. I don't care much what my front trailer, I see my back trailer to be somewhat straight. That's ah, probably close enough. It's a good setup, isn't it, Mike? I think I did a pretty good job building it. Uh, this shit's definitely uh, randoms. He doesn't like it. I think he was going to redo it, but uh, I like it, even though he doesn't like it, so... I am going to change the pit around. I am going to change it a little bit, but um, I still got a feed mill that I'm working on that I'm going to put in here as a placeable, so. Still some work to do for sure, but I knew this ramp would come in. I don't know, Trevor. It's a tough call. Like Mike said, it's just like, hmm, you can spend a long time deciding where you want to do stuff right, so. I knew that ramp was a good height for some trailers, just not all of them. It's a good height for the bale trailers, that's for sure. Alright, so we're going to stack 40 bales anyway in the shed. There's just so many options, right? Just like, hmm, where do I want to put it? Oh wow, I really did not do a good job backing up. Main thing is, back trailer is straight with the ram. That's all that matters. Ooh. Man, this thing to load out manure into pens? Dang, this thing is gonna be a boss. Yeah, it's tough. I think I spent like half an hour like looking for like, like hmm, do I want to farm there? No, do I want to farm here? It's just like, hmm, this time I'm feeling over here. It's You got so many options. That's the one good thing. It's just like, it's like, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. That's, that's the best part about it. It's just, it's beautiful. All I got to say. All right, we're going to get this guy turned around. I like the one back in by 42. Where is 42 at? Uh, 41. Oh, the one up. Is it the one up here? Or down here, you mean? Kind of where Random was having his uh, one farm set up? Is that what? You went right across the street from the cell points? Okay, so you kind of, you went right over here, kind of, did you? Or the cell point down here, you mean? Need to get this guy unloaded anyway. my uh, thing turned off oh you know what I probably turned it off on the trailer <laughs> I did turn it off that's kind of I was like why that was weird that's true I man when I have the truck equipment I mean 
I just wish the teleport mod was out for 19. I use that mod so much, I just do that off stream. <laughs> What I need to do is I need to build the road beside the shed so I can pull up and unload trucks beside. That's what I need to do. After we do the corn, I'm going to build the road over there. But uh, We need unload right on the trailer. There we go. I want to get these bales on top. I wonder if I can get them. I don't know why this thing always glitches the... I don't know. It always does a little bit of glitching. You betcha, Chris. 4X. 4X all day. All day, every day. It's so weird how it grabs bales behind. I don't know why it does that. I need to change that radius a little bit. Whoa, we got a little bit of a bump there. Huh, good to know. <clears throat> that still pushes the bales out a bit. I wonder if I didn't quite get the collision off of it. You like it better when it's cloudy? Yeah. It all depends on the weather, I guess, right? boy Trevor Trevor's back yes he is guess who's back tell a friend <laughs> little slim shady nice Derek but you take her out man you spoil her I'm sure she enjoys you being old man thanks for stopping in we'll see you next time If this isn't a pro, uh, pro stacker, I don't know what is. <laughs> this is why I use auto load. God, this would be frustrating otherwise. I mean, we're still doing it somewhat realistic, so. I kind of got a gap with those other bales. I kind of didn't do those very nice. A little upset about that, but. What are you going to do? I don't know why I push him sometimes, sometimes I don't. Not really sure how to fine tune that. Who's this other Trevor? <laughs> there can only be one. Trevor's a ninth with 68. Hey, Jay, doing, man? Time is at 130, yeah. Just getting stocked up on our feedlot so we can get a feedlot operation going. I have a lot of work to do still, unfortunately, on this, but maybe get my feedlot or my uh, feed mill worked on. <clears throat> I gotta do some work on the pen still, so 
they did accept cattle and then I did something and now they don't so and I'm not I have no idea what I did <clears throat> I changed some stuff to be invisible and then I got rid of I messed around with some collisions and but when I did that before it worked so I'm not sure what made me lose the pens from not working but or maybe because I've already placed them and I keep replacing them in my save game that the new the new changes won't work I have no idea I might have to Delete the pens and replace them, maybe. I might place a pen somewhere else in the map and see if the buy cattle option works. <clears throat> or at least see if I can trailer cattle home or something. <laughs> hey, Matt, how you doing, man? This bell stack's looking a little rough. <clears throat> it's good, man. How you doing good? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. These other four bales, I don't know what to do with them. I gotta wait till I get two more bales. Make a nice even six. <clears throat> I don't know where to throw these. May just throw them outside for now. Hey man, that's all good. You don't have to be here. I mean, I enjoy when you guys are here, but if you miss some streams, you miss some streams. So I think that's going to be it for the bales for now. I don't want to bore you guys to death too much of the bales. That was actually uh, pretty nice. We are going to have to haul some hay as well, but... I'm thinking we can get some growth going on our fields. Probably could, uh, I could see the price of corn. We should maybe get ready to haul some corn. Uh, get some more money before harvest comes again. Because that one bin's almost like entirely full. I think we got 700 liters of corn in there, so that's a fair bit. I need to restack those packages as well. We'll just place this guy in here for now. I gotta redo these pallets, get them up there out of the way. Be a little tough to get out of there. I, I didn't realize that I had that bad of uh, terrain going on there. Video on how to make cows except corn. Pretty much, you go into the feed mixer, Trevor, and it like technically you could say you don't want to give them straw. Change that to maize, and then it will take maize instead of straw. Or you just 
copy that lot, one of those lines and you add it in there as a fourth. All you have to do is add an extra line in there. It's really simple. If you have any issues, let me know, though. Hey, Riley, not much, man. We do have a full trailer of fertilizer here, and we don't. I need to unload it and get rid of it. Because we need to haul some grain with this sucker. And I've got this thing is like full of a max. So yeah, this bin over here, I think, holds 700,000 liters, and I think we have 600 and some in it. Need to check here. Never mind, we only got 394,000, so it's it's over half, but that's quite a bit of corn. So we might we might unload some of that. So I need to get, uh, do we got room for drills in here? Kind of, kind of not. We're gonna have to make some room in here. Um. Trailer dollars are my currency you get for watching chat. So for watching the stream, uh, you get trailer dollars. And then when I do giveaways, you guys can use your trailer dollars to buy tickets. In a giveaway, and the more tickets you buy, the better chance you have of winning the giveaway. So that's my way of rewarding you guys for watching my stream. And so, people that watch it the most can buy the most uh, tickets normally. So my the people that are here the most get the best chance. That's kind of how it goes. So, hey Matt, how you doing, Matt? Uh, yep, yeah, Trevor. That uh, will. Because basically what you're doing is you're putting the if you're if you're adding corn into the TMR mix, cows accept the TMR, so it doesn't matter what you put in there. In your TMR mix, as long as it comes out TMR, the cows will accept it, right? So Jeez, we really got some wear on this thing already. Whew. I guess that's not dirt down there, that's where. Alright. <laughs> What's everybody got planned for their Sunday? Hopefully you plan on watching me stream. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll definitely be streaming tomorrow afternoon, guys. So, be my birthday stream. Might even have a giveaway, you never know. But you better tune in, just saying. That way you guys can wish. Oh yeah, I gotta do a birthday emoji. I forgot about that, Trevor, I gotta do that. I wanna fit these in the shed, but man, we're gonna have to go move that Brent Green card out of the way. God, this thing has got some wear on it. Damn. I'm gonna put some more white fence around too. I think that white fence looks nice. We're getting quite the yard set up here. I'm liking it. Oh, we gotta unhook here for a second. Gotta move this grain cart out of here. So I'm thinking we could get a drill over on the side here. And we could probably get another. Oh, I forgot this tractor doesn't have a PTO attachment. I need to get that set up on it. Get our drill in there. We'll probably have to do some spraying, I would think, too.
I mean, the drills could sit outside, but I don't really have a lot of space for them to sit outside right now, so. We'll just put them in here. Probably tighten up those combines a bit. This sprayer could go in the other shop, honestly. It doesn't need to be in here. I'll go put it in the other shop. Lots of room for it in the other, the other shop, so. You start putting my equipment away. I got too much stuff laying out. It's getting a little sloppy. Perfect. It's in here like a glove. Beautiful. At least get our drills put away since we don't need them anymore. Uh, what brand floaters? I'll have to go look. I know they're in the Giants da database. I know. Uh, socks pulled them off of they got out of the data folder so they're somewhere somewhere in the Giants folder but I'll go check because he usually looks in there for wheels um, Michelin yeah Michelin what size are they axial bib I'm not sure what size they're Michelin oh there you go VF 71060s R42s Oh, there you go. As far as I know, they're in the Giants database, so we'll get one drill in here and then I'm not going to be able to get another one in like the same way but probably good just like that happy with that The only thing with the other one, it's going to have to go right in the middle of the shed, and that's not going to work. So I think I'm going to have to move the combines out. And i got to fix this thing up. move the combines around we're gonna need them eventually but not yet so I'll, I'll try and tuck them down on this corner and then I can pull the drill on the other side Think the box is gonna be a go? Well, that's exciting, man. I'm sure Sturk Industries will be excited as well. I wonder 
if I can fit this other one in front of the drill. Might be able to. Kind of open my skills so we can get it in here. Now, if I don't know what's good driving skills, then I don't know what it is, because that was damn good. Oh, we're fitting stuff in here like a glove. Well, that's not bad. That'll work out for you, though, won't it, Trevor? I'll tell you, man, they're selling pretty quickly. It's <laughs> got pretty big demand. So. Hey, when you sell good boxes for, you know, snap-on quality boxes for, like, half the price of a snap-on, you're, you're going to sell them. It's just a fact. Another drill in here. A whole bunch of messing around with stuff. And of course, we are stuck on the door. Great. Pulling it in. <laughs> ramming, ramming speed, getting it in here. Downloader GPS was not showing up. I have no idea, man. Uh, I did put it on your folder, right? Maybe it's within a zip. I, I can't really tell you without seeing stuff. Like, it's really a guess. I have no idea. It'd be a lot of things, but I can't... It's hard for me to tell you just by... I really? What am I stuck on? I really having an issue with the tire there? Be a whole whack of things. I don't know why the wheel system, that wheel system has issues. Yeah, it's it's hard to say, Jordan. I, I I can't really tell you. Like, it it may be like I said. Yeah, if you download it from GitHub, you know maybe it's within another folder. Like you just have to put it in like you would any other mod. But you have to make sure it's proper. The only thing is, is I can't really tell you because I can't see what's going on. Right? So I can only suggest to you what could be a mod conflict like I really could be a ton of things that's that's the only thing is I can't I can't really help you without you know seeing a picture being there or just how it goes kind of probably high enough I think uh, lots and lots of corn I don't know why I like these being up in the air, though. I kind of want to make them level. Just not a huge fan of that. Never seen 
on loaders like that. I know they're out there, but I've just never seen that. Right, guys, another heist is up. Might as well get at her before I. Uh, this will probably be the last heist for today, anyway. Yeah, if it's in a RAR file, you gotta unzip it and all that stuff. I mean, you can still. I don't know. I don't really deal with the uh, RAR files. I'm more of a zip guy myself, so. Hopefully we have a better heist. I have not had one where everybody wins in a while. That would be awesome, but we've had some really crappy heists lately. Like two people winning. It's no fun. good for there we just need to get our hopper placed which that looks kind of decent not gonna lie it's really good actually right there I'm happy with that I'll dump this fertilizer back in there you go, Sawyer. You got her now, man. You got this. Our yard's a little bit cleaned up. Looks nice. Everything's kind of put away, tucked away. Been a while since we did any work on this farm, so I figured we'd stream on this farm. And we do have some more planting to finish up with the John Deere. I might actually go do that here in a second. Not the greatest heist, but put up an auger in real life. Well, yeah, I mean, sometimes it still sucks in real life, too, though. But we'll get this auger filled back up with fertilizer, and yeah, then we can go haul some corn with it. I really, there is a guy working on some uh, low king super bees. I'm hoping those are out soon because I'd like to use those. Be nice. Utilize that. Need to make a, I need to make a road that what I need to do after we harvest this next field I'm gonna make a road that goes behind the bin so I don't have to back into these bins make a road that goes around but for now we'll just stick with this because we've already planted the crops so I don't want to disturb any of that for the time being are we gonna be oh yeah we're just high enough Just high enough. But we'll load some corn out. 
Get some money rolling in. I actually never checked the price. What is the price of corn right now? 806 at Horizon Co-op. Damn. Horizon Co-op's over here. Nice. I haven't hauled to that one before, so... That would be cool. How much does this auger hold? Man, it holds a lot in the auger. I'm not a huge fan of the auger holding that much. I need to change that. That just filled an entire hopper from an auger. That's weird. I that's why I was having issues before, but But I'm gonna take a bio break guys and I will be the right back here. We'll haul some corn, so What is that, Trevor? I don't know if you use spreaders in your inner life bins, but we do and lining up an auger is so annoying because you have to hit the spreader. Oh, no, I've never heard of that. Some of our holes on our bins are quite small, so like the auger spoke just fits in. <clears throat> so those, yeah, you have to be a little, uh, I don't know. I uh, know it's out there, Caleb. Last I checked, I think the guy had taken the links down, but I'm not sure if he's put them back up. Or somebody uh, uploaded something to mod up or something, so he took the links down. But to me, if you're gonna put out a mod and you're gonna take it down just because it gets uploaded on Mod Hub, then you shouldn't you shouldn't be releasing stuff in the first place because it's gonna happen. It just it's inevitable. Doesn't matter if you say stay in the group or not. It lots of stuff doesn't. It's just once it's out there, it's kind of out there. And I mean. I wish people didn't do that, but it happens, so. To me, the funny thing is, is people, people in their group say this is an adult group only, like we are not childs here, and as soon as something gets uploaded to Mod Hub, they'll put a post out freaking out about how nobody respects them. To me, that's childish. Like, you have rules and stuff, I get that, but to make a post, like that is childish. Like if you if you say you're an adult group, then don't post stuff like that. Like who cares? It got uploaded. Yeah, I mean it sucks. You didn't want it there, but to me it's childish to post to post a post about that as well. But that's just my opinion. But yeah, I'm not sure if the links are back up or not. Um, so 
Where is the farm with the big shed that is white with red trim? I'm not sure what you're talking about, Carter. <clears throat> the shed with white and red trim is not out. Uh, Random Sparks made that as a placeable and he has never released it, so. Unfortunately, cannot find that shed anywhere. Oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Damn it. Forgot which way I was going. Nope, it's definitely not in game. That that one that's on the feedlot there, I I placed it there. So the farm that you're seeing me play on, none of that was there other than a farmhouse and one of the one of the shops. All the rest I have placed and made the farm with placeables myself. Anthony did such a nice job on this truck. I love it. And I guess barn modding in 17.2 for making it, so. $800. a hopper. That's not bad. Not bad indeed. was 20 oh yeah the back holds it slightly bit more I remember Jake doing that so 36,000 that is not bad at all where did I get the feedlot placed oh, I'll show you just pay attention on my way back where I drive to oh the feedlot placeable uh, it's in a Hoff modding welt pack in a Hoff pack done by modding welt buffer simulator <clears throat> You mean Straits Internet Simulator? I have modified the pens so you won't find those pens anywhere because I've put I've taken some objects of other stuff and put it together, so you can't get a feedlot that looks like that, but you can get something pretty similar. You can definitely edit yourself to your choosing, but what I've made is four placeable pens and I've put them together and then I've done the landscaping and stuff around them to kind of put them together for a feedlot, so. Even wired internet has trouble, man. My internet's 100% good right now. Modding Wealth, I believe, but it's out in Mod Hub. It's in a few spots. Uh, straight said it's on AEM in the Wind Chaser pack. He's got a bunch of dairy barns in there. He's got like uh, sheep. He's got chickens. Or, yeah, I think he's got chickens. He's got pigs. He's got a bunch of stuff on there. I just took his feedlot and uh, made my own pens. Or like my own fence and I shouldn't say made, I use it from other stuff, but <laughs> oh, maybe your internet or your phone your internet's kinda crapping out. Mine does that quite a bit. Phone just can't handle this good quality. Mm -mm. Anybody else bu stream buffering? So it might be my end, but... No, oh, only when you watch somebody live, eh? That's weird. Jeez, that holds a lot. Damn.
Honestly, should get my other truck calling, but I don't think I have another green trailer for this farm, do I? I think it's the only one I have. <laughs> yeah, I know I went streaming to NAP. Most stuff that I watch, it recommended not to. It said if I stream in 1080p, then people on their phones and other devices have a hard time watching. So it said 720 is... If I want a more broader audience to do 720 60 frames so that's what i do 1080 puts a little more stress on my pc not a lot but then a lot of you guys depending on what device you're on might have might have actual buffering issues because your device can't handle it so that's what i read anyway so I believe, I don't know, it's Freedom Modding 19, I believe. Need to put connections on this trailer is what it needs. This truck has them, just the trailer doesn't. Is there any place to put them on the trailer? Not really. Have to place them on there somewhere. This is a pretty good haul, actually. A nice short haul. Don't have to go too far away. I think they're converting stuff all the time, but... It takes time, man. So that doesn't just pop up like... The next day. Depending how easy the convert is. I guess I should have that open when I'm coming in, shouldn't I? I was released a while ago. I want to do uh, a UDM version of all the augers and a bin package and then get it out to everyone, but it's not going to happen for a while. I gotta mess around, because I got Blender, but I could not get the Giants exporter, but I was doing the, the 18, maybe I gotta try the 16 one, but I was having issues, I could not get the exporter to attach. And you follow the videos, and I just kept getting these errors, so I don't know what 100% was doing, but the one night I was tired, so I said, screw it. It's good to make a little money because we spend a ton of money on this. Both these farms spend a lot of money, but still staying above the million mark. Not sure for how much longer. As soon as I buy more land, that will all be gone, so I need to start making some money. I'm not going to be able to afford stuff. sure why every camera does this you start going faster and you start sinking further into the back of the vehicle I absolutely hate that Cool, the different sound. <laughs> Sounds different outside, does inside. That's really cool. I already told you, Peyton, before. You already asked. I already told you, man. 
I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna answer it a second time. I not like to repeat myself. I do have one rule card. If you come into the stream and just constantly ask where everything is, I'm gonna quit answering you. you. Need to come in and chat, man. I'm not here to tell you where everything is. All this stuff I'm playing with now is pretty much public, so if you can't find it, that's not my fault. <clears throat> hey, Brian, how you doing, man? It's currency for my stream, so you use it for giveaways and stuff. The more dollars you get, the more tickets you can buy when I do giveaways, so. See if we can get this whole hopper filled up. Hey, Avery, how you doing, man? Nice, Brian. Nice, man. Glad you guys finally get to play on the map. It's exciting. Oh, damn time. I've been waiting for you guys. I was actually... This is maybe a long shot. Hey, Red Red Bull. I haven't seen you in a while, man. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. Been a while, I was wondering where you went. You must be busy. I was like, man, you know what? I haven't seen Red Rebel in a while. There's just some of you guys that come to my streams a lot and I don't see you for a while. I mean, I remember you. I was thinking of maybe doing a public, ugh, public MP server, but here's a catch. It would be for my sponsors only. So if, you don't, if you're not a sponsor of my channel, you wouldn't be able to play. That way I, you know, I can still reward the people that are sponsors. Um, it's, it'd be all public mods, so don't think you're going to get anything that's not out there. That's not going to happen. But uh, I think that'd be kind of cool. I mean, I don't know how much time I'd have to do that or play, but I think that's a good idea. But I'll have to see what my sponsors say, so I don't see any of my sponsors in here right now. But that's kind of what I was thinking. But... Ah, I got you, Red Rebel. Yeah, I can't... I don't have a set schedule, unfortunately. I can't... With farming in real life, it's kind of whenever I have time to stream is kind of my schedule, so... I wouldn't be able to stick to a schedule, so that's why I don't do one. Today's the weekend, and I got plans later tonight, so, you know, I'm doing tonight, but... Yeah, there's Rockstar. And I mean, moderators, of course, would get to play. Only if they want to, though. My just straight's always busy. He never plays me anyway. I think I only ever played MP with straight like twice, because he only ever showed up twice. <laughs> that was just an idea, because I did shut down my multiplayer stuff, but I was thinking for the my sponsors and of course my moderators. Most of them are already sponsors anyway. Uh, do a little bit of MP maybe now that Midwest is out be a good map to play on nice big map to play on but that's just an idea probably be after seeding anyway so <laughs> I 
That's right. I'm, not, I'm telling the truth, though, man. You only... At the start of 19, I think you came on a little bit in 17, but not a lot. And then in 19, I think you came on twice, and then we had your farm, like, with... Kyle and Kevin, we eventually had to sell your farm because you never came on again, or we gave it to Silver Rookie, I think, because you never came on. So I'm not lying. I know you're busy, I'm just saying. <clears throat> Stating facts. How much corn we got left to sell? These bins are going to be empty, and I mean... We have what this farm has way too much storage already. <clears throat> I need to buy some more land and get some more harvest going on, but if we get land farther away, we're gonna struggle to keep up, so we have to get a better system, but Ah, okay, so what are you doing? Like spacing them out? Because I mean some of the yards are pretty small setups on here. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, everybody has their preference, right? But I did find that some stuff was rather small in areas. Like, it's hard to work a bunch of big equipment around that yard, but. So did you go in GE and do that Red Red Bull, I'm assuming then, man? I kind of just been building my own stuff, but. Still got to build a dairy for the John Deere farm, and I'd still like to get either a chicken or a pig farm going somewhere else on the map, but I'm at, I have enough content just between two farms right now, so a third would, I mean, yeah, a third would be good too, but then I'd really have a lot of vehicles on here. I have a lot of, a lot of stuff to tap through, that's for sure, but... Now with this much equipment, you just kind of if you're not if you want to tab something else another farm, you have to go to the the map and pretty much get to it from there. But <clears throat> yeah, sure, go ahead, man. Love to see them. Love pictures. <clears throat> kind of curious to see how much corn we have left, though, but. How much do we got left? 140,000. That's not bad. Oh, you didn't touch this one? Yeah, I, this one wasn't bad. Like, it has the one shop and the farmhouse and with the trees. Like, it's not bad at all. I just added to it a whole bunch. Because, <clears throat> yeah, it just has the farmhouse and the shop. It's not. <clears throat> I figured it was a, <clears throat> excuse me, it was a good area that I hadn't really played much on. When I was on the server with socks and all them we never I never really we never really played around this farm area so I figured hey you know what <clears throat> kind of an area you guys haven't seen so that's kind of why I did it here I mean, some of the fields aren't the greatest here but we'll get some bigger ones you know that's the one thing I like about 19 is everything's so customizable you can you know you've always been able to kind of build fields here in 17 but now you can put grass wherever like you can build you can build pretty good farmyards if you take your time, right? So, Eric, it is. You betcha, man. Yeah, I just went to the bathroom, Trevor. I just went the. Uh, I was on my beat right back screen. <laughs> I just had to take a quick bio. I'm drinking too much water.
Yeah, we're just gonna uh, get some corn hauled, making some money. And yeah, next thing to do is build a dairy for the John Deere guys. <clears throat> That's on my list to do. I placed a building over there last night, but I'm not happy with it, so I'm gonna delete it and place another building. And wasn't happy with the yard that I built over there, so I'll redo it. Because those guys aren't gonna have a lot of salt manure; they're gonna have a lot of liquid manure. So it'll, it'll be. A, Quite a few John Deere's with uh, the Huel tanks doing some liquid manure for there. The feedlot's going to be basically dry manure. So, we'll have two different uh, manure aspects at those farms and... Yeah, I should get off here shortly. So my laundry's done. I've been doing some laundry today because I desperately needed to do some laundry. I need to get to that. We need to see what the big bunny is, because if we could really get some, uh, I think eggs are quite a bit on here. That's kind of why I want to do chickens, because if I can use chickens, and I've got a mod in here that Alfalfa did that has a pallet system, so rather in those little dinky boxes, you can get them in full pallets. And then I got a reefer trailer, which uh, you can load pallets into. So then you could take tons and tons of eggs, and like eggs, I think each egg's worth 2,000. So I mean, that's quite a bit of money, and that pallet holds like 100 or something. Like that's, that's good money, so I'm thinking chickens will be good money, but I just haven't really done it yet. And I have some buildings that are okay that I could use for that, but I really want to use 4MRs, but whatever, his file size is too big and I can't bring it into giants, so. I'm not sure if I got a... I was like, oh, what can I delete off his chicken buildings? But nothing really. I don't really want to delete anything, so... Yeah, that's a good idea, Red Rebel. I mean, Seasons is... I think everybody's going to be amazed with what Seasons has. Like, we already know Seasons is really good and the stuff they've teased, but guarantee there's a lot of stuff they're not going to show us. And it's just going to be like, here, it's out. This is what it's got. Everybody's going to be like... Everybody's tongues is going to drop out of their mouth. Like, I guarantee you there's going to be so much good stuff in Seasons. It's going to change 19. I mean, 19's already wicked. It's just going to make it so much better. You want Giants to add the farm system to single player? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Like they have in multiplayer. Like it took them forever to do that for multiplayer. Would be kind of cool for single player, but I mean, I don't know if that really has a place in single player because a single player you're mainly just going to be playing single player, right? But for my aspect, I'm you know wanting to play a couple different farms, and that way, the way I play is everything the way I want it. I don't have to play with other people and play their way. I can play all my way. So it is it is nice for single player. I mean, I do love MP as well, but you need a mixture of both, I think. So. I do like MP where you can have nice big harvest crews going and lots of guys to play with. You get stuff done quick, which is good. And I like playing with the guys. But once in a while, it's just nice to do that MP where you can do what you want. So, Or, sorry, not MP, SP. I do believe you need both.
Almost done, guys. Yeah, I, I I agree with you, Trevor. I see why they don't as well, but I also like to have multiple farms, so. Because then you can have your own little community thing in between, right? But then everything's your way as well. That's true, Red Rebel. I never thought of that. You could play multiplayer, I guess. That is true. I never I I guess that is a good option. Wow. See, technically I could probably just take my SP, put it on like a, a dedicated multi like I wouldn't even have to have my own server, I could just use the multiplayer in game really, right? And then just play it that way by myself. Could do that. Have my own multiplayer game that only I play. Don't even need a server, really. Dedicated server. That's a good idea. So you're right, they probably won't do it in single player, but... And just jump around the farms. Because that'd be nice, because then if I'm playing on this farm, I'd only tab through this farm's equipment. Hey, Peyton, how you doing, man? So that would be... That would be cool. So no one have to... Tab through all the other stuff unless I wanted to. Vision on that light pole, eh? That's more the light I want on my feedlot, I think. Yeah, that's a good idea, Red Rebel. Man, you're always full of the good ideas. So I don't know how I didn't think of that. I hadn't really decided that I was going to do multiple farms when I first started playing this, but then for streaming purposes, I decided I wanted to, so. Going good, Cart. Oh, I know you are. You're always... Every time you're in your man, you always have some good ideas. I mean, I just... You know, I never never thought about doing it that way. I just kind of... I was like, well, eh, it's working the way it's working. But that is a... That is a way around it, for sure. How much corn is left? I think... A load and a half, I think. I do have another truck for that farm, but I don't think I have another grain trailer, so. I mean, I could buy one, but I don't really need one right now, and I'm kind of waiting for some super bees. Because then I would... I'd still keep this trailer, but run a set of super bees, and then I would... I mean, I got two drills, so technically I'd use the Super Bees for seed and fertilizer for the drills, because I have two drills, that way I wouldn't need two trucks, just one. And uh, I'd still keep this trailer for the one truck, but yeah, I'd run uh, Super Bees, it'd just be a little more uh, efficient, I guess. That's a pretty cool idea, Trevor. That'd be pretty cool. But hey, I don't have a spray right now. Let's get the co-op to do that. That's that's a good idea. I mean, so far these farms kind of have everything, but um, I do want to, you know, pretend some stuff's custom. And... Yeah, the vehicle switcher makes it really easy. I had that in 17. I used it a bit, but 
Uh, with like the thing now where you can go into a vehicle and you can turn the tabbing off for it, I mean, you can utilize that too. But then to get back to that vehicle, you have to physically walk to it in the game. So, I mean, it has its pros and cons for sure. Hey, Dakota, how you doing, man? Yeah, we should only have like a load, load and a half left, I think. Yeah, it's nice for sure. Uh, Anthony did a good job on it. Just for a rip. It's out for a rip on you, bud. Demon with Xavier, thanks for the sub, man. Greatly appreciated. It's so lonely now. My roommates moved out and nobody lives in my house anymore. Just myself. I was all to myself. Twenty-nine. Yeah, it'll be half a trailer, I think. So another load and a half. I don't like how the auger like takes like x like thousands of liters in it like it should once the trailer's full the auger didn't take any well i guess the hopper would be a little full but it needs to fill the trailer and then stop don't fill that auger anymore I need to maybe adjust that i have no idea dakota i mean console only sports 1x so you won't be able to play any 4x's So if somebody makes uh, American 1X, I'm sure, but I don't know when that's going to happen, honestly. Thanks, Avery. I don't think our other farm has any grain. I don't know it does. We did, or no, we sold the canola. The other farm doesn't have anything, but I was going to get a farm king for the other farm as well. Be cool to have an ice like 90 foot west field, but hey Sask, how you doing man? Another load and a half and we should be good. And it's almost three o'clock already. Where has the day gone? I've done laundry and that's about it. Laundry and some streaming. Gonna have to have lunch here pretty soon. Love that. Keep it real, Pony Boy. Thanks for the sub, Matt. Keep it real, Pony Boy. I thought it was always like, stay gold, Pony Boy. Appreciate the sub, guys. <clears throat> Corn, corn, corn. Man, we've done quite a few loads here. <laughs> you messed it up. That happens. I was going to say, I was like, I was pretty sure it's like stay golden, Pony Boy. <laughs> I should get a Wilson Hopper bottom. Yeah, I mean, I think the other farms got one. I'm trying to keep the farms a little bit different, so this one's got the load king, but still waiting for some uh, load king super bees. So I 
I know they're being worked on, I'm not sure how close they are. Oh, excuse me, to being done, but. Go get that last load and uh, sell it. So my bins are going to be pretty much empty. I'm going to have room for a lot of crop. Wilson Commander, what is that? That type of trailer? Never heard of the commander, but I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a real like truck trailer guy, so I'm not that versed in that. <laughs> Slope front and end hopper bottom. Oh, huh, interesting. A little different design, pretty much, you're saying, then. I think we're going to wash this truck after we're done, too. It's starting to get a little dirty. You have four on your farm. Nice. How many trucks do you have, then? trucks nice it's quite a bit we got three on our farm all tandem zone but kind of what we like to run so all right let's get this last bit of rain oh, I didn't, didn't do this turn as good as the last one the last one I had her pretty dialed in on my Kind? Uh, we got uh, Kenworth and two Freightliners. Probably in some of my real life videos, yeah, I've probably already showed them, but you're going to see them more because I'm going to do an actual video on them. So. Oh, don't tell me we're going to have a little bit left. get the auger empty I don't know I don't think we got the auger empty well it doesn't show any in the hopper you want to know something you see these caution stickers on here when killer was like isotope did this even that picture right there that Secundiac TL 10 1200 that is my picture from my auger <laughs> I have no idea, Caleb, where it's at. I just remember finding the the Hoff Pack by Modding Wealth. I couldn't tell you where I got it, but it's out there. So Google is your friend, man. Great shakers are horrible. You haven't seen ours, Dakota. Ours are custom built. They are fancy, fancy, fancy trucks. Fancy tandem green trucks. Way too expensive, but they're nice. Yeah, so I took this picture, and I took this one down here, the warning signs. This is all... Killer wanted some pictures for the auger, so I took pictures and he put them on Isotope's auger, so. It's kinda awesome. So technically, this auger would be 10 inch, right? TL 10, 1200 means 10 inch. I took the picture off our 10 inch auger, so. TL 8 would be 8 inch, and then we also have a 12 inch, which would be a TL 12. Your Kenworth fan, nice. Yeah, both our Freightliner grain trucks are custom built. <clears throat> basically, they're both like 1984s. So basically, took a cab and a chassis and then got a brand new grain box built for both of them. And then parts from different freight shakers of around the same age. And then they got built. A guy that builds custom trucks. It took him about four years to build both trucks for us. But one truck took about two years each. And like his wiring is phenomenal. Like they're just really in a really nice truck. So
Yeah, same with us, Trevor. We don't have uh, unloading augers like that on a couple of our bins we do, but most we just stick the auger in the bin, so. Uh, it was. I'm not gonna say the price, but. You can buy semis and grain trailers for cheaper than, <laughs> than our grain trucks were, but they're very fancy, very nice. Oh, Modding Well, do they have their own website, Red Rebel? I didn't know they had their own site. I just, I think I downloaded off Mod Hub. So, I mean, like, if you go to Mod Hub, you eventually find it, but. Oh, they have their own website. I did not know that. Interesting. But yeah, they have like a feedlot style. I just edited it a little bit so everybody can have the feedlot style. I mean, theirs, theirs has liquid manure and dry manure and a milk tank and stuff on it. I got rid of all that stuff because I don't want that on there. I basically want my cows to reproduce, so I turned that up. And the liquid manure and all that is down. And I also have the cattle breeds in here, so whatever breed I pick will do most of that for me anyway. Oh, you use the you use oh, so you use a big auger then. Damn man, I would load pretty quickly. Yeah, we don't we have two of our bigger augers, but we don't use them to load trucks. So we have, but no need to. We got a 12 inch auger like our Spooniac loads a Super B in 19 minutes. Well, you could just learn to edit too. That's all I really do, Avery. Is just I know how to take stuff off one and put it on another and make it work in the XML and that's kind of what I do I, I'm not good at building anything from scratch but I'm good at taking something off one and being like I like how that works and putting it into something else that also works that's kind of what I what I like doing so yeah I do too Red Rebel I just didn't know they had a website so Generally, if I go on to Mod Hub, generally when you look in the description, it will say, please visit my website or my page. And then I usually do. And then I go download it from there. But if it doesn't have that in there, because obviously, you know, people on Mod Hub don't, don't uh, put that information in there, then you miss that. But I definitely agree. The main source is by far the best. But... Pod sweet, man. I mean, I'm not really into reskins, but... So that is all the corn hauled. Hey, well, we each its own, right? You tried. Thinking I'm gonna stream till we get one more heist and then I'm probably gonna call it, so I'm not sure when the next heist is, but I'll look here instead. So I need to go eat some lunch, get some things done today. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow afternoon for you guys. Tomorrow night I have a birthday supper and in the morning I'm at a breakfast, but I'll hopefully stream like right after lunch. I'm thinking it'll be a good time. You know, noon or one o'clock or something, we'll get to do an afternoon stream. Kind of hoping to get on with Socks and Random and them and Techie and play on that new map they're on, but I don't, depends when they stream. If they stream earlier, then I might miss the timing, but. Kind of like to do some MP with the guys, but they were already streaming this morning before I started, so I was like, well, kind of missed my chance, so decided to do my own thing. Okay, Red Rebel, I haven't checked LS Mod Company's page in a while, so I'll go check it out. Definitely go give her a look see. They're are they probably they're probably more Euro, aren't they though? I mean, so what if they are? That's some Euro stuff's not bad. Some stuff's two Euro that I can't use it, but
We'll put our trailer away in the shed. We shouldn't need it for a while. Ah, oh, you can do whatever, man. You can private message me, or you can just put the farms in chat. Doesn't matter. Up to you, whatever you prefer, I guess. Doesn't really bother me either way. So that is good there. Oh, we got all our corn hauled. I'm happy. Quite happy. Ah, uh, that was Six Gun Trevor, and he was having some family issues, so I. I haven't talked, like, last time I talked to him, he said he would talk to me again when he had time, so I guess he doesn't have time, so. Um, pretty much, uh, I don't know if he's ever worked on the map to update it for 1.3, so I don't know if it would even be updated, so that's why I haven't played it. I haven't checked it out, honestly, but. I just figured that if he hadn't updated for 1.3, I wasn't going to play it because you know all the issues 1.3 had, right? So if it's not updated for that, then why, why play on it? So, And I haven't heard from him. Last time I talked to him, he said he'd talk to me when he had time. So, so he's probably still having issues, I guess, but... I'll go back to it eventually. I've just been having fun on these other maps, and like I said, if he has an update for 1.3, there's no point in playing it, so just haven't uh, been on it. Oh, get the auger down. Oh, we uh, got some issues with our hopper here. <laughs> Probably pick that up first. There we go. Now, I don't really know where to put this auger, I think. We're eventually going to need it over here for the feed mill. So, I'll just put it over in the grass somewhere for now. But we'll need it to load our feed mill bin with corn. Oh, you know what? Why did I sell all that corn? Damn it. I need corn for my feed mill. Oh, well. I wasn't thinking. Oh, well. A tiny issue. <laughs> uh, auger tractor, we use a 5400 Massey, so a smaller series, a little Massey. You'll see it in some of my photos that when I post the real life video of all the photos, you'll see the Massey on the auger. And we also use a bi directional for, uh, New Holland as well, which is going to be sold soon, so don't get to see it for much longer. Perfect, everything's tucked in here all nicely. Liking it. So technically we could still put something in over here. Park a truck in here or something. I do... I really want to get... Uh, let's get... Uh, I need to go get a truck. I don't have a pickup truck for this farm. We're going to go do that. I potentially can, but I mean, it depends on what your computer is. I'd have to exit out of the game and then go to my graphics, but... I think I'm only on medium graphics. I'm not on anything special at all. The shaders is what really... Shaders is what really makes it look good. I haven't done a whole lot of edits, and honestly, little little edits 
little tiny edits in someone's release mods usually just pisses people off. So unless you do something substantial, I wouldn't really bother. Uh, I mean, my edits are, maybe aren't all proper either. Like, stuff needs to be proper if you're going to release to the public. If I do something, it maybe works for my game, but it maybe has little issues that I know about. But that wouldn't be something I'd like, you know, everybody to... Because then everybody would be like, oh, there's this issue. And I'd be like, I know. I don't really care because that's how I play with it. So that's the type of stuff that I don't really care to deal with. But uh, we're going to go buy a pickup truck. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get a Dodge for this farm just because I like the Dodges. We already got a Chevy for the other one. So why do I have two? I'm not sure why I have two of these. I think this is Jake's edit. I think the other one's just a regular. It's got more colors. I'll go with this one then. What do we want? Ruby, magenta. Oh, magenta looks sexy. I love plum too. Oh, that plum is badass. I always look good with the gunmetal. Oh. Try something different. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> it doesn't match. Tan. I like the tan. That actually looks nice. Alright, guys. We got a heist. Do it up. Another heist. Get at her. Figuration. Flatbed. No, I mean... I'm not a huge fan of that, but... Gotta have the deck on the back. Standard design toolbox. Oh, you know what? This is the old. I don't think we can do that one. Gotta use the other one. Yeah, this is the one you can add stuff to the back. So, this is what we want. The other one had more colors though, but it's, see, Jake never updated the right one, I don't think. that and we're going to put the toolbox on the back because that's what I like the most I think Here's my other truck. Yeah, we were pulling the Huel tank. That's what we were doing. This is where I was going to place the dairy, but I wasn't happy with what I had. So I haven't really finished it yet, but what I got so far. I think the music's changing itself. I'm stuck to playing this copyright-free music, so I don't really have a choice of what music I can play, per se. Why are the heists so crappy lately? Alright, there we go. Sexy looking. There you go, Trevor. I 
it's funny, like, the only, like, copyright-free music is, like, music like this, like, EDM and stuff. It's no country, like, there's, like, next to no country that's copyright-free, I'm pretty sure. Every single country song is copyright. Pretty well. to LA, this weird song. But I want to repair that first dog, so it's getting pretty worn, so. Yeah, I know that, but I, I'm not going to go to Twitch, because I'm, my channel is more going towards real life farm vlogs, and you can't do that on Twitch, so. I am not going to make the switch to, switch to Twitch ever. I will occasionally stream on this channel, eventually when I move to the farm, and I will do real life farm vlogs, and that's where, that's what YouTube is all about, so that's what I'll be. Unfortunately, that's why I'm staying here. If I was going to stream full time, then I might go to Twitch, but it's not in the cards for me, unfortunately. Now, what side is this going to be on? Hoping I can repair this versatile right here. Hey, it's in there. <laughs> Perfect. Sixteen hundred bucks, dang. Look at that, good as new though. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. Look at that, good as new. Looks sexy. Alright. I was just hoping I could get in close enough, that's perfect. So we got our truck. I mean, we got room for a couple more vehicles in here. You need some trailers. I should have brought back a trailer with it, actually, because I kind of wanted... I think it's a dovetail one. Uh, where is it? It's pretty nice trailer. It's probably not in here. It's in... This guy right here. It's a beautiful trailer. Kind of wanted to uh, bring that back, but oh well. We can do that another time. Here's the reefer. My plan is to put egg pallets in here. That's the goal anyway. I'm not sure how much I can fit in here. Probably a lot, but this will be used on the chicken farm. That is my goals anyway, but... Yeah, that service, that toolbox and stuff, that's all blue modding. So, I can send you guys to his page. You go to that, if you follow that link, go to Blue Web's, Blue Web Modding's page. Uh, you can find his Dodge trucks that I was using on there, his toolbox. You can choose the fuel tank, whatever you want, but that's all on there, so. Just go to that website and you'll have his uh, links on there. But, yeah, so I think that's good. Yeah, Pony Boy. Like, I, I don't. I'm not gonna show you the graphics just because all you gotta do is go into go into your computer, change your graphics to medium, and then go around and change some of those view distances and foliage distances to 200%. Like, I've cranked them all up like 200%. All you gotta do is crank this up to 200% and then have medium graphics. But you need a good computer for that. So you have that trailer. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know it had any errors. It has errors, does it? Huh. Crazy Red Rebel. You're a skilled professional, man. So hopefully next time I can get these uh, pens filling with cattle. Kind of like the ground in here. It's pretty cool. Um, get some cattle in here so I can start feeding them. I need to get my feed mill done. Maybe we can do that this afternoon. But uh, 
yeah, it's kind of the plan anyway to get these pens filled and going, so. He only said one word, Trevor, and then he, I never heard from him again, so. <laughs> I think you're all right. And yeah, we'll have to get some uh, manure. Actually, I can go get a manure tank with this guy. We'll go get a manure tank before I quit here, so. All right, Matt. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out those pig barns. I might actually, the John Deere farm might actually be a pig barn set up rather than a dairy, but. I forget, what does that one even say, Trevor? It's so small, I forget what it says. I guess we're gonna run some side slingers, I guess. Actually, this guy could stay here. I think I should go buy another fence, a 900. Probably don't need a thousand. Do we need a thousand series on a side slinger? Probably not. It's probably too big of a tractor, to be honest. Oh, it says trailer trash. I think warning trailer trash ahead or something. I think that's what it says. That was gonna be what my currency was gonna be called was trailer trash, but I figured yeah, trailer dollars was. They could maybe run a 900 series fan. I'm kind of waiting for devil here i guess devil's not on the stream today i'm kind of waiting for him to release his fence with american warning signs because i kind of want to use it what i've been waiting on but where is my 900 i could see through the grill on this one maybe Michelin, I like the Michelins. We'll wait. can't be the one because I can't do the this hmm. but that was the one though I have to go through my trackers and find the right one I thought that was the right one but maybe not because yeah the grill was all see-through and stuff so Clearly I got the wrong, the wrong one in here. Hmm. That's all right, we're not gonna buy that for now. Uh, we, we could maybe do a Magnum potentially, but. Yeah, Pony Boy, what I suggest is go to medium and then I turn basically everything up to 200%. If you n still need help, message me on Facebook and I will take a screenshot of my settings and I'll send it to you. I don't really want to do it on stream, but I can send you a screenshot so you can copy them, I guess. Hey Mustang, how you doing? Hey Western House, what are you guys doing? I'm just about to end my stream, so I'll have to go back and watch it. What you guys missed. Uh, the dairy's coming along, or not the dairy, the feedlot's coming along here. I still got some more details. I want to add some more grass. This area's just got too much dirt. Uh, very high? Mm, it depends on your computer. It might. Just for Leaf River, he's got his grass. Like, you see how detailed this grass is right here? I can look way over there, and the grass is still 
like this way over there and on really high i would crash on leaf river that's just how six gun has it set because that's how he likes it i know for most people that's not how they'd want it but he's got it so it lows in at a, a huge distance so i mean yeah i have to have lower settings for that but uh the cows thing is the, the mod I used was out of the Modding Welt pack, so apparently Red Ripple says you can go to mod, ModdingWelt.com. For sure, Matt. We'll definitely see you tomorrow. And uh, they have, this is one of the placeables you can get in his pack. His, the pack's all over YouTube and videos and stuff, too. I just, I custom edited this one. So the pen's still this size. You'll still get this same ground and area. You'll still get the water trough here. He just has a different fence around it. And he has different feed troughs. I use Random's uh, troughs from his mono slope, and then I used uh, some fence fencing that CWJ built for his Dyersville map. So that's what I'm using here. So it's kind of the same fence that we use for our pens. So yeah, that's kind of did some stuff myself, and I took the milk tank and the, the liquid manure tank off the back here. All that stuff. So here, I took it all off. I didn't want it sticking out there, so. And, uh, yeah, I still gotta do some stuff to make the pens work, but they were working, and then I changed some things, and now they're not working, so I need to go back and figure out what I did. So, and then I can fill them up with cattle, so. But, thank you guys for watching. I mean, I want to keep streaming, because there's so many of you guys watching, but I need to go have lunch and take a break, so, uh, I appreciate all you guys coming and watching me. Like I said, tomorrow, around noon, 1 o'clock, I'll be streaming again tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be my birthday stream. It's my birthday. So come in, wish me a happy birthday. Uh, for you sponsors, I'm going to have happy birthday emote. So you can say happy birthday to anybody that ever has a birthday in stream. So I'll look for that tomorrow, for that emote coming in. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have a good rest of your Saturday, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care, guys.